Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to create forms in Aweber and we're going to do it by going to the Web Forms tab on the top main menu and click on Create a New Web Form. Now keep in mind you want to make sure that the current list that you're using is the one that you want this web form to go out to. So I created the web tutorial one earlier and that's what I want. So I'm going to scroll down a bit. So the fields that it gives us are already our name but we can also choose to use a US address as well, especially if you run a company that has a brick and mortar location instead of say an online company. Or you can create a new field. Next it's going to show us the templates that we can use. And this will show us the most popular templates, new templates that have been updated, any templates that you have used, corporate, and show more. So you can see we have templates in all of these categories and things can definitely be changed on these but these will give you a good idea of what they look like. Let's say we want to use a generic one. This will give us generic forms we can put in there. Let's say I just want to use this default one and this will show us the colors we can use for this form that will match say the colors of our website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Evergreen or you can load your own template. And right now you can see we've got our name and email address. But if we go up here to the top and we want to create a new field, this is a custom field we're creating and we can put a name in there. And let's say we want to make this phone number and click on save. So when they sign in, they'll click on name, email, and phone number. We can also choose if we want this to be a text input box a select box that is actually a drop down, a radio box that will allow us to choose between this and other choices, a check box which will allow us to choose more than one, a text area, or the date. Let's say that we want to make this a select box. So let's do the choices. Let's put in cell and add one more for home. That way we know if it's their cell or home address. Over here, let's click on the drop down and you see we have cell or home that is their actual phone number and click on save. When you're done, click close. We have our submit button. We can also edit our footer so you can put in anything you want. Thanks for answering. For instance, you can change your font family, font size, etc. and click save. We can edit our header. click on save and now this is our full form. It has the email privacy link for Aweber down below that it tells them that they are going to keep all of their contact information secure and then their email marketing ad by Aweber and it's very small and we're going to click on go to step two. The basic settings are name and email which is our form name. You can also do an enable Facebook registration and this will be automatically adjusted so it's at least 300 pixels wide. Our thank you page we can do as a basic version, an audio version that will be a page with your logo and whatever audio you want, a smart video version, a custom page with your own URL, or you can, they stay on the current page and it doesn't show them the thank you. I'm just going to click basic version and the already subscribed page. I'm going to use the basic version for that too, although I could create another URL. I can go into an advanced settings and this will show me my ad tracking. It will also allow me to choose if this is my welcome message that this will pop up for, message 2, 3, 4, etc. or for no follow-ups, only actual broadcasts or one-time emails that you send out. And you can click on save web form or go to step 3. So now it says we have to save it before we can publish. So let's go ahead and click on save web form. And you can choose whether you want to install it yourself if you're comfortable with your HTML and have access to get in and edit your pages, whether you want to send an email to your designer that contains the HTML, or if you want to have Aweber host your form. And if that's the case, then they will provide you with a link that will host your form that your potential customers could click on and it will take them straight to that form. I would choose I will install my form and it will let you decide whether you want the JavaScript snippet or the raw HTML version. So if I have an HTML email that's going to be going out, I would click I would click on include beautiful form styles or if you want to go to an unformatted form you could do that. I would click so it chooses it all, right click, hit copy, then I'm just going to paste that HTML code into the HTML of my email. 
Okay, so let's go back in and take a look at the other part of the forms page. And this is split tests. And when you create more than one web form, it allows you to do a split test that it allow you to put a link on your website to rotate different web forms on your web page and to tell you which one of the two has more subscribers. So if you're deciding to use different colors or headlines or button text, whatever, you can see which one attracts people's attention more to get them to fill it out. So that's a pretty neat little option there. So that's how we create a web form that will go out in your email or in your web page. People can fill in to give you the information you're looking for. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.